Don't forget to subscribe! Hey everybody, this is Ron! And welcome back to another episode of Team Lifelike's Christmas Reviews. In this episode, Miki, Sue, Daya, Amo, and I will be reviewing Rocco's Martin Christmas Kid Squeeze Cheer from a Cheese Log. Here we go now! Ah, spoiler alert! Christmas Eve, Rocco laments the condition of O-Town, in which a cloud is struggled to eject snow from. Suddenly, he catches a glimpse of new neighbors setting up decorations in an empty house from across the street. He decides to get Heifer and Filbert to decorate his house to have a party to make his holiday the best one ever. As it begins to storm, Ed Bighead laughs at the misery this year's Christmas is suffering. So he notices the decorations of the house from across the street and becomes so enraged, he is like a volcano by now. Later, Rocco calls Heifer and Philbert and asks if they, would come, if they could come to the party he's planning, which starts at 8 o'clock and soon everybody else gets invited to the party. When Rocco gets a call about this, he mails the invitations and goes to the mall with Spunky tagging along. While walking, they notice an elf from the decorated house across the street. The elf hides behind the mailbox, and Rocco and Spunky continue their walk. Not to notice that the elf was following them behind. At the O-Town Mall, Rocco goes to attempt to purchase a tree and finds that Filbert is selling them along with Heifer. So Rocco chooses his tree and heads inside the mall. Spunky tries to go to a line, which only consists on seeing a fruitcake salesman. But Rocco inhibits him, saying that the line is too long. The two go to Waldoon's Variety, and the elf from earlier, who has followed Rocco all the way to the mall, finds a shoe store, only to get picked on by a group of crocodiles. <laughs> Ron, aren't you over-exaggerating this? Oh, sorry, Mickey. Rocco notices this and tells someone to pick on someone their own size, prompting them to tower over him. Luckily, he... He digresses by asking if they have a shoe on in an 11 half. So he throws the shoe and the crocodiles chase after it. Rocco then finds the shy elf hiding in another shoe and then he takes him home as he and Spunky leave the mall. Rocco returns the young elf to the house, in which another elf offers him a visit inside and a number of elves are inventing toys. So Rocco asks the elf where he could find Christmas cheers, which they consists on celebrating the spirit of the holiday, so the elf introduces him to the elves named Wrench, Plier, Screwdriver, Nail Gun, Hammer, Drill, Crowbar, Jigsaw, and Mango. So the elf also introduces Rocco to the most famous elf of all, Mitch. And he has only three legs and was the very first elf to make it snow. And as he leaves, he invites the elves to his party. So Ed watches the elves through the window in disgust and refuses to attend Rocco's imminent party. So he just storms outside and mutters angrily to himself. So when Filbert leaves Rocco's house, Ed tells him that elves carry foot fungi, causing Filbert to break out in a blistering rash. When he returns to his trailer, he tells Dr. Hutchinson that he won't make it to Rocco's party and soon the word is spread it around O-Town and after hearing about the foot fungi Ed mentioned earlier, much to Ed's amusement. At Rocco's house, the Wallaby waits for the guests to arrive, and at the house he laps, he becomes a little more than confused that nobody has showed up and feels upset that he didn't get any Christmas cheer. Well, if, if Ed actually had noticed that the foot phone guide was not true, to be honest, Mickey, Sue, and I would be able to make the recovery from... I would be able to recover Filbert in a heartbeat. I think that would be just a great idea. I agree, Tessu! I guess you guys have a point, but anyway. Just then, the shy elf comes over and Rocco invites him in. Rocco reads the elf a story and falls asleep as he finishes. So during the night, the shy elf tries to make the cloud sprout snow out of it. But the cloud doesn't even budge. So when the elf remembers how Rocco saved him from the crocodiles back at the mall, and he realizes that the love is the secret ingredient for Christmas cheers and creates a heart to float onto the rock, making it sprout snow onto Rocco's house. And speaking of that, character transformation, amulet heart! So anyway, 
The next morning during Christmas Day, everybody is in front of Rocco's house and Mitch, the three-legged elf, shows up and reunites with the rest of the elves. So he states that the reason he went to seclusion is due to the lack of Christmas cheer, thanking the shy young elf in the process. When Rocco shows up at the door, the others discover that he was the one who shared the Christmas cheer with the elf and apologized to him for ruining his party with the rumors. Everybody attends the party, with the exception of Ed, who is a little more than annoyed. The young elf shoves up at his doorstep and gives him an invitation right before hitting his knee with a hammer in reprisal for starting the rumor. So Ed chases after him and ends up hanging from the lights onto Rocco's ceiling. Rocco thanks the young elf and says the Christmas cheers were inside everyone all along. Rocco then gets a call from his parents who wishes them a Merry Christmas and everyone continues to party. After the end credits, the elves chase after a Santa robot and the next day elapses with everyone throwing their trees outside the day after Christmas, thus ending the special. Did you know that? There is no theme song or episode title cards over regular closing credits in the episode. Instead, there is a special tied in sequence of Rocco and Spunky delivering gifts to his friends with the closing credits shown over an image of a snowy old town. And at one point, the song wrote off the Red Nose Reindeer is parody. Rocco reads a visit from St. Nicholas by Clement Moore to the Little Elf. The photo from Rocco's family from the pilot, Trash or Madness, makes a reappearance. And at the end of the episode, almost every single character in the crowd appears, including a non-speaking appearance by Ralph Bighead. And this episode was released on VHS by Sony Wonder on August 29, 1995, with the Ren and Stimpy show short, Yak Shaving Day, as a bonus segment. The tape was re-released by Paramount Home Video in 1997, this time with the episode Snowballs appearing in place of the Ren and Stimpy segment. So, you could say that this is a Nicktoon Superstars 2-in-1 special. And this is the second full-length episode of the series after I Have No Son. And for some reason, the DVD version of the episode adds a two-second commercial fade-out between the last scene and the end credits. Eight of the elves are named after tools. Now you know! Yes, <laughs> Needless to say, we actually pretty much enjoyed this Christmas special because it brings out a lot of holiday spirit and joy for everyone that has believed in it with their own hearts. So, we give Rocco's Modern Christmas a perfect 10 out of 10. Next time... My Christmas special is the next one. Me and Donkey will do our best! Thank you so much for watching, everyone. What do you think? If you appreciated it, please be sure to subscribe to that like button and be sure to follow my social media platforms in the description below and the Team Life Flights fandom channel. Please be sure to leave a comment below and give us your open-minded thoughts. We here at Team Live Flights Fan Dubs do not condone harassment, violence, or trolls allowed. Or otherwise, the Red Hulk and Tommy Central's The Red and Stimpy Show will haunt you down to the ends of the Shadow Realm. So please be sure to subscribe to our channels and click the notification bell. You'll never miss this video the second it goes live on YouTube and Google. With all that being said, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Happy Holidays and have a Happy New Year and best wishes for all.